Hi, my name is Linda and I am from The Stirring Spoon. Today I'm bringing you Easy and Healthy in Under 15. This recipe can be found on the website at stirringspoon.com. Today we're going to be making what I call sampler chicken. This is great whether you're just having your family or you're having some friends over because it gives everyone their choice. They can choose either like a bourbon molasses, the smoking aguave, the balsamic honey, or the apricot Dijon mustard. And if you have people in your group that have problems with gluten, this bourbon, the smoking aguave, or the mustard are good options. And if you've got someone who has issues with sugar, then go for the smoking aguave by all means. So we're going to get started now, and we're going to start this in the oven that we're going to finish it on the grill. I have got chicken breast, which I purchased with the bone and the skin. I highly recommend that you do that. This way, when you're, you're subject to this beautiful meat to the fire of the grill, you've got it protected on one side by the skin and on the other side by the bone. But I've cut them in half, because as you can see, they are pretty thick. And so that's why we want to start them in the oven, get them cooked a little bit, because we do not want them to dry out on the grill. So, all I've done is I have taken, in this pan, I have just cut up some carrots, some celery. Here I have some scallions, because that's what I happen to have in the fridge. If you have onions, you just need something from the onion family. So those three things, a couple of bay leaves, a little salt, pepper, good to go. So we're going to start with this chicken breast, and I'm going to show you how to cut, cut it in half. We have a pair of shears, which is your best option if you don't have them. No worries. Otherwise, we can just use a knife. Under here, you can see there's a bone. And if you're going to use scissors, all you're going to do is slip them right underneath and cut. If just a knife, take the point of your knife. Put it here. This bone will split. Just drive it down. See how easy that split? We're just going to turn it and finish cutting it that way. Just make sure right through there, all the way through. Skin too. Because, like I said, that's what's going to protect it. So, here we go. Just going to place this in here. We do not want to do any cross-contamination, so we are going to put a little salt in our hand this way and sprinkle it on from there. That way we can just discard the rest without ruining our bowl of salt. Okay, a little pepper. And we are ready to go, except for I'm going over here to get a little bit of water. Just a little. Then we're going to pop it in the oven at 375 for about 20-25 minutes. Okay, so now we have taken our chicken out of the oven. It's two-thirds of the way cooked. So we're going to start by putting the skin side down on the grill. Because we're going to finish it with our sauce on that side. So, just remove any of the vegetables that decided to stick to it from our cooking process. And now I'm putting this over the warmest part of the grill at the moment. We don't want it to be over a fire, but we do need it to finish cooking. So I'm just going to put the rest of them on the grill. And then we'll come back in a few minutes and check on them. And we turned them over one time because remember we put them skin side down. And so I know everybody doesn't like to eat skin, so we're going to make these healthy. But we're going to take off the skin just like that. And now we have our different sauces. And I call this a sampler because your guests can now take and have any one that they want. So let's say, you know, we got Uncle Henry over here, you know, he's got diabetes. So we are going to fix him up with the smoke and aguave. I brush a little bit of that one on for him. Just like that. And then let's take and move 
that over here, to a, and we're going to turn it over just to a little cooler part of the grill because we don't want that sauce to char. Okay, so now we have Little Susie. Little Susie is a mustard fan. Little Susie is having our apricot Dijon mustard on her chicken. And we're just going to put that over to the side again. Just take it off direct heat. Remember, it's already cooked. So, we'll just continue pulling off our skin. And we're going to have a little bourbon molasses. You know, Uncle Phil really likes his bourbon, so we'll give him a little today. Again, I'm just going to put it over here to the side. And my mother, her favorite is the balsamic honey barbecue. So let's give her some, right just like that. And again, let's turn them right over to a little cooler part of the grill. And I'm going to continue finishing these up, so we'll come back in just a minute. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. We've had some time just to get a nice finish with that barbecue sauce on our chicken. Because that's what, the part that everybody loves. Mm. Give that one more for a second. Take that one off the skin I missed. Let's go get ready to serve these. So now we're ready to serve our chicken. I have coupled it today with some nice Brussels sprouts and some healthy brown rice. And we're just going to take a piece of our chicken, just like that. Now remember, we can remove the skin. So we have just got a very healthy meal, not, not a lot of extra fat, and it was ready with less than 15 minutes of our prep time. Our sauces can be found on our website at thestirringsfood.com along with this recipe or we can find, be found in local specialty stores. Bon appetit!